heists. I can't be the only person who secretly fantasizes about organizing one. However, some people take it beyond GTA and into the real world. Today, I'm gonna look at some of the most daring heists ever pulled off. Number six. The Bank of America heist. In 2008, Anthony Curcio spent three months observing an armored car make deliveries to the Bank of America. His extensive reconnaissance included the car's schedule, CCTV locations, and various defensive blind spots. He then put a fictitious job advert up on the internet. The job paid $28 an hour, and workers were asked to wear jeans, a blue shirt, work shoes, a yellow safety vest, safety goggles, and a painter's mask. The ad directed the workers to meet in the Bank of America parking lot at the same time that Anthony planned to rob the bank. Around 20 workers turned up. Anthony arrived wearing exactly the same clothes as the workers. He pepper sprayed the armored car's driver, grabbed $400,000 and used the workers as his escape cover. Anthony got away using a river route he had earlier planned and when the police turned up, they were greeted with 20 people matching Anthony's description. Number five. The Northern Bank Robbery. In 2004, two individuals posing as police officers arrived at the homes of two Northern Bank executives in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Once inside, the individuals revealed that they were armed and held the executives and their families at gunpoint. The two executives were ordered to go to work as normal the next day, while their families were held hostage. Once at work, the executives set about placing money into holdalls as instructed by the robbers the night before. They then brought the loot to the robbers and later that night, the families were released unharmed. The culprits escaped with $38 million and to this day have never been found. Number four. The Calembra Bank Heist. India, 2007. In what was the most sensational heist in Indian history, the perpetrators ended up claiming over 80 kilograms of gold and over a million dollars in cash. You see, the bank was located on the second floor of a building above a restaurant, and that restaurant was offered up for rent. The robbers rented the restaurant and immediately closed it, supposedly for renovation. They even ordered new furniture and construction materials for the site in order to make the operation more convincing. In reality, they cracked the first floor ceiling open, thus gaining access to the bank's vault and all of its loot. The perpetrators subsequently made much effort to misdirect police inquiries. For example, they left a kilogram of the stolen gold in a hotel in another city. Ultimately though, the robbers were caught. The leader confessed to being inspired by a Bollywood movie called Doom. Number three. The Fort Elisa Heist. In 2005, a gang of burglars tunneled into the Banco Central in Brazil and stole $40 million. Three months earlier, they had rented a commercial property and tunneled 78 metres beneath two city blocks to a position beneath the bank. The cover was that they were a natural and artificial grass cellar, which neighbours later said explained why they were removing van loads of soil on a daily basis. The tunnel was very well constructed. It was lined with wood and plastic, plus it had its own lighting and air circulation systems. This was one of the world's largest heists. 25 people were involved in stealing the $40 million. Law enforcement claimed that it would have required experts in mathematics, engineering and excavation. To date, authorities have found little of the stolen money and most of the perpetrators are still unknown. Number two. The Isabella Stewart Garden and Museum theft. This museum heist occurred in 1990. A pair of men disguised as police officers tricked the museum security guards into granting them access to the building. Once entry had been obtained, the fake policemen proceeded to arrest the security guards. When one asked why they were being arrested, they were told, you're not being arrested, this is a robbery, don't give us any problems and you won't get hurt. The thieves proceeded to steal 13 pieces of artwork, worth a combined total of $500 million, and all of which are still missing. To date, no arrests have been made for what is still the largest private property theft ever recorded. Number one. The Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Heist. In what has been called the largest burglary in English legal history, this heist was carried out by four elderly men who were all experienced thieves. It targeted a safe deposit company and was one of the most spectacular heists ever carried out. The total loss was valued at around $300 million. The thieves first waited for a holiday weekend so that they could work undisturbed. They hid in an office located many floors above the target vault. Once the office block had closed, the thieves drilled into the building's elevator shaft. They then abseiled down the shaft to the basement, where they cut through two rows of metal security bars. They were able to disable the alarms on the main door to the vault, and then cut through 18 inches of reinforced metal door and enter the vault. Undisturbed over the Easter holiday, the gang were able to break into around 70 safety deposit boxes, many of which contained expensive jewellery from the numerous local jewellery shops. The thieves have since been caught, and all have pleaded guilty. 
Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw then please click the subscribe button to check out more in the future. We're also on Twitter over at Timejacker.